I'm Amy from Doodle Dog Designs and today I'm going to be talking punch needle. Today I want to show you how you can transfer your punch needle pattern to the weaver's cloth. You will need your pattern printed out a light box or a window, some weaver's cloth, some tape, and a thin pen or marker. I like to use a fine point sharpie marker. When you're doing punch needle, you're working from the back side of the project, so you want to make sure that the pattern is reversed before you trace it. And this is especially important if you are doing a project that has some letters or numbers on it. If you don't reverse the pattern first, when you punch it, the, the numbers or letters will be backwards. All of my patterns will come to you already reversed, so all you have to do is just trace them. I'm going to be showing you with this bird and the first thing you want to do is with either the light box or the window is to tape the pattern down to the light box or you could tape it to a window and either way as you can see it really it has light coming up behind it and that will allow you to see through the fabric. Now this particular pattern doesn't have lines around it because, because it's a three-dimensional project, but this one here, notice how it has a rectangle drawn around the pattern that will all be punched. You can see that this weaver's cloth is a woven fabric. It has little threads going this way and little threads going perpendicular to it this way. When you're tracing, a pattern like this bird that has the rectangle around it. You want to try to line up the line on the pattern with the woven threads. You don't want to have it be off like this. You want to have it be square with the fabric. But I'm going to do this bird and I'm going to center the bird. Let's see. I think I want to do it like this about here. So I'm going to then tape the weaver's cloth down if you watch some of my other videos you know that sometimes I skip the taping process but it really does help keep everything in place so you don't have trouble with things moving. So now I'm going to trace around bird here. And this dotted line is just a placement line so I don't have to trace that. And then I want to also punch this wing separately. It will be a three-dimensional wing, but I need to leave room in between the two punched pieces. So I want to move my fabric over a little bit because I want to be sure that I have enough room for my seam allowance. I'm going to put it over here a little bit and that will give me room in between for my seam allowance. Tape that down. And then I'll trace the wing. And this part of the pattern is for making the bird's nest and it is made with quilting cotton. I don't need to trace it onto the weaver's cloth. Now I am ready to put this into my frame and start punching. Be sure to click the like button and subscribe below. I'll see you next time. Bye.